Hey, what is going on guys? Crypto Sunkit wasn't here and today I'm going to show you how to install Unturned Rocket on Linux using Rocket Manager. Now I'm going to be using Rocket Manager by Sergi X44 and we're going to be installing this on the Ubuntu 14.04. So bring up the control panel of my Ubuntu so here, you're going to need an SSH client. So right now I'm using Putty. You can download the Windows installer or the standalone application. I already have it downloaded so I just open the application. And just copy down the IP of your Ubuntu server, paste it in, open. Yes. And log in as root. And my password is going to be this. It might be different for yours, so either you set it yourself or the server host provider set it. So I just press right click and then either it will automatically log you in or you can just click and press enter. Now that I'm in, I'm just going to close out of that. And first of all, we're going to need the prerequisites for Steam and Unturned. So we're going to head over to the uh, rocket for Linux and we're going to need to install all these prerequisites. First of all we're going to run a apt-get update so sudo apt-get update enter and this may take a while so we're going to skip ahead. Alright now that it's finished updating we're going to start by installing all the applications and the repositories so just highlight up to the hash, copy it, and then type in sudo space, and then press right click on your mouse, and enter. Now we're going to do these for all of the other prerequisites that we need. So just highlight the next one, copy, and then type in sudo, right click on your mouse, enter. But well, it seems like I already have this repository. So I don't need it. So for the next one, just highlight it, and copy it, and then type in sudo, right click on your mouse, enter. And sometimes you're gonna have to say Y or N. So obviously you want to install it, so press Y and enter. And you're gonna have to do these for all of them. Now that you have finished installing up to all of these. We're going to start by installing Python as well, which is needed for Rocket Manager to run. So I'm on a page on how to install Python. So the next thing, we're just going to highlight the command and paste it in. Y. And all of the links to all these pages will be in the description down below. And we're going to install the next one, copy it, right click, enter, Y, and press enter. Now that it's finished installing, we're going to go to the next step, so just highlight the command, paste it in, and then copy this whole command. And paste. Next thing, let's copy the command, paste it in, and enter. Alright, the next thing we're going to do, the next command, hello, paste it in. It's a pretty simple procedure. And the next one. Alright, now it's finished. We are, you can check the version of Python if you want to. And as you can see, it shows that I have successfully installed Python and running on 2.7.13. So we're going to get out of these directories. So just type in cd dot dot and then slash dot dot slash dot dot enter. And you can type ls 
and you can see all these files here so we're going to type in add user admin and then type in the new password for the user we type the password and just press enter for all these why enter all right and the next thing we're going to do is add the user to pseudo group so user mod minus lowercase a capital g pseudo admin all right and we're gonna log into the new user so su admin all right and now as you can see i've logged into the admin now we're gonna check if we're inside the admin directory so we just got type in cd dot dot slash dot dot ls you can see all the files here so go back cd home ls cd admin all right now that we're confirmed we're inside the directory we're going to start by downloading the rocket manager so we're going to head over to the documentation of rocket manager and we're going to highlight this command and paste it in the next thing we're going to do is type in python rocket manager.py right and just press enter and when you type ls you can see all these files that we just created so we're going to go into the rocket manager file so you see the rocket manager ls and we're going to edit this config so just type in nano config underscore rocket manager dot xml enter all right now that we're inside the configuration i recommend creating a new steam account without steam guard at all so i'm just going to log in and my password all right and the next thing is whether you want to use the rocket api key which will automatically download rockets but since i don't have an api key we're going to go to the rockets downloads page i'm going to click on the linux download click download all right and we're going to upload this to dropbox so we can get the direct download link so i resign to dropbox and I'm just going to upload it all right and just click the share button create a link and copy link and we also want to only run one server so we're going to delete this whole line if you want to run two servers you can leave both of these lines so just type backspace all the way all right and also for archon we'll enable that which is basically the console for the server and also it gives announcements for when the server is restarting which it says here so the archon port we're gonna put as 27115 password you want to set this as a unique password so obviously not pass something more secure but we're gonna leave it as pass I'm going to go control x on the keyboard press y and enter now we're going to get out of the directory so cd dot dot so we're going to run the rocket manager again so ls and python rocket underscore manager dot py all right now that it's finished installing unturn and steam cmd it will also fail to extract the rocket zips since we don't have rocket installed so we're just gonna press ctrl z on our keyboard and if we type screen ls we also have to terminate the screen which is basically the unturn that it's running so just type in kill all screen and then the screen ls as you see there's no screens running Alright, so what we're going to do now is go into our unturn folder. So we need to tap ls cd unturn. 
the list again and as you can see all the uh, unturned files are in. Now the Dropbox link that we just copied, I'm going to type in wget and paste it in and then change the dl equals 0 to 1 and press enter. Alright, so now that it's downloaded, all you have to do is type in ls again and then unzip, highlight the whole zip file and then right click on your mouse or you can type it in and press enter. And then it will say if you already have rocketlaunches.exe, press yes and yes and just do it for all of them. So you just click pressing yes. Alright, now it's in, type in ls again and then we're just going to delete the zip file again. So you just rm minus r and then right click. Alright, we can see that we go into our modules file folder ls there's now the rocket.unturn in now that's done just you can now start your server so just go back into the admin directory where you can see rocketmanager.py and run it Now that it's successfully opened up and Anton is running, we'll also do one last step which is enable Archon. Since we can't get our console through the SSH client, just press Ctrl Z again to get out of the screen and we're also going to terminate the server forcibly by kill all screen again. And then go back into our Unturned folder, cd Unturned, and then cd Servers ls and then my server name is server1 so the cd server1 ls and then cd rocket ls and we're going to edit the rocket.config.xml so type in nano rocket.config.xml enter and then as you see the archon option enabled so you're going to change that to true port 27105 which is what we set in rocket manager and the password we set as pass and just uh, press ctrl x on your keyboard y enter all right now that's done we're going to go all the way back into our rocket manager folder and start it up so cd go through ls and then start the rocket manager, so python rocket underscore manager.py Alright, now we've got the server set up and Archon enabled You can actually close out the SSH client itself And we're going to reopen the putty again And this time we're going to go enter the IP address of the server again Paste it in and the tel we're going to select the connection type telnet and the port will be the port of the archon which is 27115 open All right and then we're going to type in login and the archon password which is set as pass oops we're going to retype again and now that we should have logged into our unturned server, so if we type in rocket command display the rocket version and unturned version, so type in admin. Obviously, there's no one on the server and I didn't admin anyone. So that means that your server has successfully started up with rocket. Now, if you want to restart your server, all you have to do is in your Archon client, just type in save, shut down the server. Alright, and then type screen minus ls back into our SSH client on Ubuntu. See, no socks found again. So you just re log into the admin, go back a directory, 
and then go into the home admin and then python rockets manager.py to start the server again so that's it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoy please leave a like if it helped sorry if this video is quite long and personally i'm not that experienced in ubuntu so any questions or anything i might not answer properly or it might not be correct and i might put a, another video on installing ftp you can also search it up how to install ftp or a file server on ubuntu so you can use filezilla to manage all your files and install plugins much easier and that's it for this tutorial hope you guys enjoy and see you guys next time